Welcome to chapter one, part two of the council. If you haven't seen part one, the link will be in the top of the description below. Just as a recap where we left off, I didn't open Piagi's letter that could have contained information about my missing mother. And then we went to bed. So we're going to start off when I'm waking up. Oh, I think I'm having another vision. I think that's what this is. We're going to play chess with George washing machine. Your turn? The servants are not very efficient. Durache can't be far away. They'll find her soon. Their search time is restricted given that they must keep an eye on Adams. I can take care of her, you know. Yes. Well, in any case, I do Who's thank you for bringing her to the island. From what I've understood, the search of Durache's room hasn't turned up any results. Not yet, no. But we've put her son in there. Perhaps he'll find something. Hmm. Interesting. That might come in handy. Louis grows impatient at not yet having met the famous Lord Mortimer. He will meet him tomorrow. Oh, what a pity to lose a knight at the start of the game. Knights are answer, girl, bro. Can't lose those. Are you waiting for someone? Braden Pons is a young right, but... French soldier. During our game of chess. Don't worry, Gregory. The game won't disappear. I'll have one of my men escort you back. Don't trouble yourself. I know my way out. Ah, good evening, gentlemen. Please forgive me. Send Napoleon Bonaparte? It is never too late. And we have much to discuss. One last move? Oh, dude. Don't worry, our games always seem to end like this. Or always start like this. Come, come, take a seat, my friend. I must be having a vision. There's no way I was actually in that room. Yes, yeah, Napoleon Bonaparte, dude. Maybe I was in the room. What? George washing machine? A little nighttime stroll, Mr. President. There's nothing like it for a good night's sleep. Do not hesitate to ask a servant to show you back. The corridors seem quite safe. <laughs> what an odd thing to say. Lime flower and valerian. My miracle remedy when one can't get to sleep. A very good night to you, Mr. President. I don't trust this powder face, Thank enough. you. And to you too, sir. Yeah, so it was another vision. And my nose is bleeding again. I'm coming. Hurry to answer the door. Stop knocking. Oh, it's George's washing machine. Excuse me. Am I bothering you? Not at all, sir. No. No, no, wait. Oh. I need your help. I chose the wrong one. What's going on? Do you remember the young lady we spoke of in the hall? Elizabeth? No? No. What's her name again? Or no. Elizabeth Adams. Yeah! Well, she is the daughter of my friend, the Vice President, John Adams. Oh, she's the but daughter she's of John Adams. To be dead. Yeah, oh. that's bizarre. Fair enough. Good heavens. I was present at her funeral. It is disturbing indeed. Yes. I need to make sure it's her. That's where you come in. I want you to distract Elizabeth while I search her room. And perhaps get my hands on some important information. At least, I hope so. Elizabeth is in the small salon. If you hurry, you can still catch her. I just need ten minutes. But if my vision is true, there are two men nearby discussing very important issues, and one of them looks much like Mortimer. Washington is very kind, but I came to this island for my mother, not for his ghost stories. Why don't you help George Washington, but tell him about your vision? You know me, I'm always gonna help Don't George. Count on me, sir. Thank you, my friend. Keep Elizabeth downstairs as long as possible. 
She must not return to her room. Trust me. According to Washington, Lady Adams is in the small salon. I better hurry. Uh, join Adams in the small salon downstairs. Oh wait, is there anything I should look at? No, I've already looked around here. Is that Zeus? Who is this? I'm, I'm still curious. I thought they'd mention it. Oh. Ah, my son. Oh, you are a godsend. What's the matter, your eminence? I believe that Miss Adams may be in danger. What do you mean? Do you hear that? She is being manhandled in this small salon. By whom? I don't know exactly. Uh, a thug, a Frenchman, it seems. By the cut of his cloth, I'd say he's a member of the French Revolutionary Government. Going you should do something, my son. I'm going in. I was supposed to make sure Adams wouldn't go back to her room. Don't worry, Your Eminence. I'll take care of it. Probably nothing to worry about. Do you want me to call for help? Please don't do anything. I'm sure with a little goodwill, everything will work out fine. Don't go and wake up the whole manor, please. Thank you, my son. May God watch over you. Who do you think you are? Forgive me, sir. If we were in France, I'd have sent you to the guillotine for what you just said. Please, That's just let me go back man. to my room. Hey, you! Stay out of it! This is none of your business! Uh, I'm gonna step in. Let her go! Huh? Stay out of it, boy! What are you playing at? Drop something. I told you to mind your own business, boy! Oh, dear. If you think you can side with this and then just walk away, you're out of your mind! Give me one good reason not to knock you down! Because I'll tickle you if you do. What? Oh, uh... Uh, uh, yeah, we're gonna hit him. <laughs> That's the spirit. But it won't be enough. Don't think you're getting away with it that easily. Why is that a successful I'm step? All these toffs. If we were in Paris, I'd send you all to the guillotine. And on top of it all, a woman telling me how I ought to behave? I won't stand for it. Okay. Let's sit down. Okay. Wait a minute. What? <laughs> Don't tell me you're gonna defend these harlots. Uh, 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 there's nothing better than a wise word or keep quiet. I'll just keep quiet. Cat got your tongue? I oh. get the feeling you're trying to put one over on me. If that's the case, you're making a big mistake. Sorry about that. Look, there's no point in us aggravating each other. Let's both just go our separate ways. Don't move. We're not done yet. You wanted to be the knight in shining armor and save the damsel in distress. Let's see how brave you are. Um, he just pulled a gun on me. Uh, uh, uh. All right. Wait, no, it auto selects Listen, if I do nothing. We barely know each other, and it seems everything went a bit too far. Yeah, Let let's beg for mercy. Am I right? If I offended you in any way. What's wrong? Someone cut your balls off? Uh, attack on it. You should have kept your big nose out. Ooh. Well, I did two things right and everything else seemed to screw up. So I didn't detain Lady Adams. Am I not supposed to step in then?